Welcome to Win 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to analyze the two input NAND gate and to find the switching threshold for its inverter equivalent. There are a lot of things present on the screen. Please don't get intimidated by any of those. I'm going to explain to you in a very, very simple way how do we do this. Now, in the first column, you would see that I have drawn an inverter and I have written something in red which is KP equivalent and KN equivalent for the time being you can just ignore that. In the second column I have drawn is nothing but a true input NAND gate and we have already seen how to draw a true input NAND gate and it also has KN and KPs mentioned next to this. Now if you recollect what we have seen in the previous clip was that W by L of the transistors connected in series it's nothing but the phenomena what resistance follows in parallel. The thing which we need to keep in mind here is that here the W by L of all my NMOSs which are connected in series are same and W by L of all my PMOSs which are connected in parallel are also same. And there we also devised a simple law that if W by L of all the transistors which are connected in series is same, the final equivalent reduces to W by L divided by N where N is the number of transistors. So here we get nothing but the number of transistors present being 2. So this is nothing but W by L divided by 2. Now we know that KN or KP in simple words K is directly proportional to W by L and mu N or mu P or in simple words is mobility of electrons in all the NMOSs is the same and mobility of holes across all the PMOSs is also same and TOX is also same for all the NMOSs and also same for all the PMOSs. That means we know that KN is equal to mu N COX W by L or in simple words we can say that KN is directly proportional to W by L and hence the law which we write for W by L, the same holds true for KN as well. So that's exactly what I have done. W by L divided by 2, I have replaced W by L by KN and KN divided by 2, which is nothing but because we are trying to find out for the series transistors, NMOS, it is nothing but for the NMOS transistor of an inverter and hence we write KN equivalent equal to KN by 2. That's what I have written here. Similarly, we can do the same exercise for parallel transistors as well. W by L of parallel, we know that if W by L is same and the transistors are connected in parallel, it's nothing but N times W by L because it gets added up. Suppose there are two transistors, it's going to be 2 W by L. So N times W by L, here the number of parallel transistors are 2. So we get 2 W by L. We already saw that we can replace W by L with its corresponding transconductance K and here because we are trying to find out for parallel transistors which are nothing but PMOS we can say it's nothing but twice KP and PMOS of an inverter so we got an equivalent value of KP which is nothing but twice KP which I have already written here. Now we have to find the switching threshold for an inverter equivalent. In the previous clip we have also derived the switching threshold value for a CMOS inverter which is given by switching threshold equal to threshold voltage of NMOS plus square root of 1 by KR where KR is nothing but KN by KP into VDD plus VTP the whole divided by 1 plus square root of 1 by KR. At that point of time my KR was equal to KN by KP but here we have reduced our two input NAND gate to a CMOS inverter equivalent and that circuit does not no longer have KN and KP but it has KN equivalent and KP equivalent. So we have got KR equivalent which is nothing but KN equivalent upon KP equivalent. What we need to do is we need to substitute the value of KR equivalent into the value or into the expression of switching threshold and because this KR equivalent has a NAND reduced to an inverter with all the features incorporated in KN and KP, the value of switching threshold which we get after substituting and simplifying is the value of switching threshold of a 2 input NAND gate for its 
and what are equivalent so it's very very straightforward let's quickly do that so switching threshold is equal to threshold voltage plus square root of 1 by kr where kr is nothing but kr equivalent so let's just write that kr equivalent into vdd plus vtp upon 1 plus square root of 1 by kr equivalent now what is kr equivalent kr equivalent is nothing but kn equivalent upon kp equivalent that is kn by 2 into kp equivalent which is nothing but twice into kp which is nothing but kn by kp this entire thing is divided by 4 so let's substitute this in the expression 